My name is Jason Lindsay. I'm the chairman of Fashion TT and on behalf of the board of directors of Fashion TT, I would like to thank all of you for having successfully completed this year's run of the Entrepreneurial Development Program that we partnered with NetGuan. No doubt the skills that you would have learned during the program will help your business ventures and will help your endeavors in extending your offerings in the fashion industry. As all of you would know, we're in an era now that calls for us to build more innovative business models and we're hoping with the expertise that you would have gained from the program as well as some of the new initiatives that we have in the coming year, you'll be able to build a more effective business to help the fashion industry go forward and become sustainable in 2021 and beyond. Board, management and staff of the National Entrepreneurship Company Limited Netco, I extend congratulations to all graduates of this program. I also join the global community to salute you as you continue charting the similar course as other entrepreneurs like yourselves, those being existing and startups. Today I also use this platform to challenge you to take charge and seize opportunities that arise during this time of uncertainty. I say this because this special cohort was presented with a change which drove us, NETCO, to move our training and business advisory sessions from physical to virtual. But what remains true is that change forced us all to engage in more meaningful and expressive communications as we moved to a digital setting. This change is one that certainly encouraged us to experiment, to learn and to embrace anything new because the old way of doing things simply does not work. Yet, while we can boast and say that we will be able to reach the completion stage of the program, we still have to remain prepared for what's next to come. Graduating itself is a big achievement and under any circumstances, recognition must also be paid to the facilities, fashion designers, family members and the key team members of both entities as each play pop, displayed the tenacity, dedication and self-discipline to complete the program in spite of the circumstances presented. So congratulations again to each and every one of you for we all had personal battles to deal with along the way. However, it is my hope that this critical juncture, you will use and apply the knowledge gained to continue on. Good morning, graduates. I'm extremely pleased to join you virtually on your special day. Let me extend congratulations to each of you on the successful completion of the Entrepreneurial Development Program of the Fashion Value Chain Investment Program. Fashion TT and Netco must be acknowledged for the successful collaboration. These state agencies were able to effectively and efficiently pivot when met with the unexpected pandemic and swiftly provide virtual training sessions. In so doing, they were able to execute the full program, which included training in business plan development, costing and pricing, record keeping and cash flow management, business taxation and marketing strategy, all in five months with a customer in nine months. You, the graduates, must especially be commended for taking advantage of this opportunity to build capacity and thereby strengthen your businesses. In the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times, you stay the course. I urge you to continue on that road to success and enroll in the other three levels of the Value Chain Investment Program, the Business Advisory Tier, the Non-Global Value Chain, and the Global Value Chain, as it was designed to assist you in creating sustainable businesses that can be successful on the international stage. This year, a few VCIP participants at the non-GVC level exceeded their 2019 revenues, one by as much as 46% and another by 72%, and they are entering new markets such as Australia, Fiji, the UK, France and Abu Dhabi, and your business can be next. So, explore the rich potential of the e-commerce platform. Dedicate yourselves to the highest quality product and service based on global standards, and this will equip you to thrive anyway. The government is committed to helping you and other micro, small and medium-sized businesses to flourish. If you need to upgrade equipment, innovate your systems and processes, you may be eligible for funding under the Grand Fund Facility or the Research and Development Facility. The Ministry's website will provide more details. 
Expo TT also offers capacity building programs for exporters and a co-financing facility. The recently launched She Trades Hub, which is done in collaboration with the International Trade Centre, aims to connect 3 million female entrepreneurs to markets by 2021. Visit our website and register. I want to reiterate that our role in government is to provide an enabling environment and a relevant framework within which businesses can grow and become globally competitive, lead to sustainable employment and for our exchange generation. Consider all of your options among the many facilities on offer. This is only the beginning and I wish you all the best in your future endeavours. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Marie Daniel, the General Manager of the Trinidad and Tobago Fashion Company. Congratulations on your successful completion of the VCIP Entrepreneurial Development Program this year. Next year, we look forward to working with you again within the VCIP. We have a lot of exciting initiatives and activities that's going to be happening within the fashion industry to continue to foster its growth. Next month, stay tuned, we will be doing interviews with an international expert panel to align you to further categories within the Value Chain Investment Program. So, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.